So this week, we started off Monday with uh, Riley O'Grady and her dad, Dr. Dennis O'Grady, uh, doing a communications uh, training for our staff for 30 minutes. And uh, one of the things that we talked about was communication, how you're communicating to each other, to clients, and in the context of being professional, like how are you communicating professionalism? We talked about yesterday, like 7% of your communication is by words. And then yesterday I was talking about like, you know, if only 7% is your words, like how much is my, my attire? Today I'm back in a t-shirt, shorts, and flip-flops. Like what, what am I communicating to those that see me today? Uh, but what I really want to focus on today is the uh, communication of your attitude. I was reminded, I don't know if Riley or Dennis said it on Monday, but but attitude is communicated, like not by words, but your attitude. And so as leaders and owners, when we enter an engagement, um, you know, with a teammate uh, or spouse or my kids or a client, what's my attitude? Because if I don't check my attitude, if I have a really bad attitude, like I'm communicating something to, to the person that I'm talking to, right? And it can even be done on the phone, right? If I'm on the phone, and my attitude's not healthy, um, not positive, then I'm projecting, I'm communicating via my attitude. Isn't that interesting? Like your attitude communicates something to somebody, right? And so today I'm like really focusing on, gosh, what is my attitude? Like what, as I go into each engagement um, to kind of just do a recalibration of my attitude because I'm communicating through my attitude, not with words, you know, 7% with words, whatever percentage with my attire, and then my attitude is communicating to people. As leaders and owners, great reminder for me, um, great reminder for me to be like, all right, Jerry, check your attitude. What's, what's, the, what's a healthy attitude and how might that attitude communicate something to the person, the people that I'll be talking to today. So anyway, more to come. It's been really interesting. Again, really simplistic and yet there's a lot of meat on the bones as they say. So a lot of fun this week.